It was kind of weird getting dressed today. It was the first time uh, I was actually nervous, uh, you know, just because, um, you know, during the season, you're, you're in a routine. You, you know, it's you always have those, like, pregame jitters, but uh, when you can do something about it after, it's, you know, when you get on the ice, everything calms down. But now it's uh, new territory, and i um, very excited and um, overwhelmed by the uh, support and messages throughout the week, for sure. Uh, huge. Um, obviously, uh, you know, having a seven-year-old and five-year-old, they've been through uh, about half of my career. Um, and obviously, Rachel's been there from the beginning. And to be able to share this with them and uh, my family, and uh, it's very special to have them here. They obviously know now what, what's going on. And, you know, obviously, those first couple of years, they just, they you know, they don't really understand what's going on, but they actually get it now. And uh, it's just really awesome to have them here and um, to share this night with them, for sure. I know you're someone who doesn't like the spotlight being on you, but it will literally <laughs> be on you when you walk out there. What do you think that moment will be like? I know the fan base has always appreciated what you did, and this is an opportunity for them to recognize that. Yeah, I, I think first thing is don't trip. Uh, <laughs> you know, getting on the ice, and um, I, I, it'll be overwhelming, for sure, uh, in a good way, obviously. Um, uh, like you said, it's not something that I've always uh, enjoyed being there, but uh, always appreciative uh, of the fans here um, from day one all the way till you know my last game, and obviously one one more time tonight, and uh, it'll be very cool, and uh, you know it's special, obviously playing the Red Wings too, right? Um, obviously a team that uh, I grew up my whole life, uh, you know before before signing here uh, was was my favorite team, and. Um, it would be cool to be able to, you know, do it with playing against them too. Congratulations, Andy. Oh, thanks, uh, Mike. Colton and Matt, are they on skates? Or? They are. They are on skates. Uh, they're playing in a might development league right now, and uh, it's very, very cool to see them out there. And um, uh, my oldest, Colton, was kind of 50-50 uh, on the fence about playing hockey, uh, but he wanted to go out there, and now I can't get him off the ice. And uh, we all seen how that plays out before, and uh, they're they're having fun, they're loving it, and it's uh, it's a lot of a lot of fun to see them out there. As someone that was undrafted and you know and did be able to do what you did, what would be your advice to young players out there that don't get drafted, that maybe are in that mid range in, in the draft, don't get drafted, never get that opportunity? What would be your message to them? Uh, I, I mean, honestly, the the message I always kind of lived by and, and, and went by was believe in yourself. Um, it's not a sprint. Um, you know, just because you get drafted doesn't, it's a, it's a very cool day in your life, 100%, but that's not the end game, right? It's, uh, for me, it was about playing one NHL game and then how do I turn that into two and into a career? Um, and there's ups and downs along the way. There's, uh, there, there's gonna be, um, you know, like, like I said, highs and lows, and, and it's how, how you respond to the respond in those situations and keep believing in yourself and, and do the right things, work hard. And um, a lot of times, if, if, if you're good enough, they'll, they'll find you. Uh, and, and uh, you know, you'll be, uh, you'll be happy and you can live with yourself at the end of the day if you give it all you have and, and do it honestly. For sure, uh, you know we've had some talks with Fitzy here, and uh, it's just kind of let it let it calm down here now, and then uh, it's just then now it's just picking which avenue we want to go down to. Is it coaching? Is it player development? Is it management? Or is it you know it's just kind of uh, being around the family for now, and then kind of zoning in, in one of those areas and 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 seeing what fits best for me and, and for my family, and then kind of you know making decision after that. So. Uh, hopefully we can, you know, figure something out, and we, I'm sure we will, and you know, go from there. How proud are you about playing in front of the Red Wings too that night? Oh, I mean, it's an honor. Uh, obviously, having you, you know, guy over your your guys' left shoulder there uh, was uh, a huge honor, and um, you know, to be able to play in front of him and, and be a, not only a teammate but a friend of him, and then obviously all, all the other great guys that we play with, uh, you know, Patty Elias and Travis and. Sergey Breland and, and, and just go down the line. Um, and then having 
you know, Ken Danico around all the time and Scotty Stevens and um, just to be able to learn from those guys in day in, day out and uh, pick their brains and, and just see what, you know, what made them great and what made this organization great. What kind of advice would you give you know, to a, a player like that? Uh, I, I mean, it's, it's believe in each other. Uh, it really is. Um, it, you know, you're, you're stronger as a group, not individually. And, and uh, do your job. I mean, it really is. Um, don't, don't be someone you're not. Uh, you know, be play the role that you're expected to play. And it's amazing when teams come together. They they do that. They they back each other up and they play for each other. Um, it's a special time and it's a special thing that that can happen. And it's just uh, you know learn learn from your past mistakes and, and leave them there. But you know go forward with it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, I mean, how long do we have here? But uh, uh, the cliff notes of it is, uh, you know, obviously we, we've been we're talking towards the end of the summer a little bit, and, uh, you know, right before training camp. And um, I, in all reality, I kind of knew um, probably what uh, beginning of August, middle of August, that officially I was I was, was going to be done, and that was just kind of. What's the next route? What's the what's the next way? And obviously, we set this up, and, and um, it was very cool. It was uh, it was very surreal and uh, very thankful. Uh, obviously, the Devils organization had been nothing but the best in, to myself and my family, and um, it was an honor. And I uh, wasn't quite sure, uh, you know, how it was going to come across, but it, you know, it, like like everything they do here is 100% awesome and and, and uh, respectful and classy. Uh, you, you know what? It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't too much. It was just kind of, um, you know, for me personally. And I've talked to a few guys about it. And uh, you know, I, I, wor I worked out extremely hard this summer and tried to push it as hard as I could. And I, I didn't want to be sitting there end of July and all of a sudden be like, oh man, I want to play another year. So you, you know, I started. Uh, I took a little bit more time off the, after the year off than I normally would, just to kind of clear the head and make sure I was ready to go and. Um, you know, I start uh, as, as the workout program progresses throughout the summer. It's kind of, you know, you start building it and you start uh, cranking up the intensity. And uh, when I started to do that, there wasn't that next level that I usually have when I work out. And honestly, it was a pretty easy decision. Un unfortunately, you know, if if you can't put the time in and you're not, uh, you know, not able to train the way you need to, they're, they're, you're just, you know, you're fooling yourself and you're fooling wh whatever team that I was was going to sign with. So, uh, you know, it was a good conversation with Lou. It was easy, um, as always, and um, it was great. Eddie, who are some of the people, I mean, other than the ones that you've mentioned in your role and leadership that, that you think about on this day? Uh, I, I mean, obviously, my, my mom, my dad, um, my brothers, uh, you know, just uh, Trying to slow down here so it doesn't come out. No, no. Uh, you know, just uh, all the people. Um, sorry, I don't want to keep dragging this on, but uh, yeah, that's that's how it is. So. Okay, I'll, wait, I'll change the topic. How many times since Wednesday have you now played golf? <laughs> uh, since you announced your retirement? Uh, you know what? Uh, just just twice actually. Uh, Wednesday actually, it was kind of funny. It was, we were weren't quite sure if we we're going to do the media on, on Wednesday, and then you know, talking to the Pete and the guys here, they said we'll just do it Saturday. So obviously, made a last-second tea time, uh, and I wasn't quite sure exactly what time the announcement was going to come. I knew it was kind of mid-morning, 10 o'clock, 10, you know, somewhere between 10 and 11. Uh, about whole, uh, my tea time was at 9:40, so so about whole three, uh, you know, my phone started blowing up in my pocket, and I was like, uh, I guess they just announced it, so. <laughs> Um, no, it, it's it's been good and uh, it's been a lot of fun. Just a parting word for the fans. Uh, say it again, sir. Just parting words for the fans, the Devil fans. Uh, yeah, I just like to thank them. Uh, honestly, from uh, from day one all the way to the last day, uh, the support, uh, how they treated uh, how they treated us, uh, good times and bad times, they were always there. Um, you know, obviously some some nights we were good, some nights we weren't, but they were always there to support us. Uh, be there for us and, and we're very appreciative of that.